Hey there, this is Cole here with more Hexcrank Live. Starting up a new game in old standby. Resident Evil 2. So let's get going. Resident Evil. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. So yeah, that's all you need to know about Resident Evil 1. <laughs> got here good old-fashioned Leon back when he was dorky Yeah, let me know how the audio balance is. I've got a new uh, new setup here. Man, what a mess. What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? All right, that's far enough. Don't move. Precisely, Jay asks if I drop the volume. No, not intentionally. No! By looking at my levels, everything's coming through fine. What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Lock up. Okay. Hey there, Stink Force, Doctor Static, Precisely J, and the SW04. And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? <laughs> yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. No! Look out! I always thought that zombie looked like a zombie version version of Leon because of that hair. You okay? Still in one piece. <laughs> that maniac's gonna ram us! So that's how the two heroes get Claire. separated. Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I totally thought I was doing Claire A. Leon B. But this is fine, too. Claire A. Leon B is, dead, is the way things normally go, so I'm fine showing you a, a different, uh, a different thing. Hey there, Busta Dallas. Uh, precisely, Jay asks if, I, if I've heard of Darkwood. I've heard of it. I think I might have it. I might have gotten it on sale, but... Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hey there, Dumpy John McClane. Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. <clears throat> What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay. Um, Gary did not stream tonight. He actually streamed earlier this week. Um... He's on vacation. Bye, Kendo. Instant turnaround is Resident Evil 3. I just warned he had a weapon. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna die. There's Zombie Chocobo, welcome. Also running upstairs is Resident Evil 3. Man, I'm 0 for 0. real mind-blowing to go through city streets. Uh, 
Oh, that poor guy ate, dur <laughs> ate it during eating. Bit it during eating? During a meal. Nobody says during eating. Besides space aliens. Moose Rehab and Pallet Oaf. I always thought it was a bad idea to put pre-rendered zombies next to the real-time ones. just highlights how chunky the real-time ones look, you know? <laughs> I just got to get my sea legs. Um, instead of starting Leon over, let's take that as a uh, learning experience. <laughs> Zombie Chicken was right. That was a practice run. Um, I'm going to actually... Moose Rehab says it's fortuitous that I'm playing a Resident Evil game. They just got a copy of RE4, and they're going to play it for the first time a tomorrow. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Joe Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Okay, I should have been tipped off when the opening cinematic was different. This is playing, I'll pour myself another drink. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to open that right into the mic. I'm finally here. Pantsman13 asks if it's Malort. No, it's it's diet. <laughs> It is, it is diet ginger ale. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Why'd he bite me? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello. She's not food. <gasps> Look, you may not have I'm noticed so that because of your cataracts, you, but okay? just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Shoot. Get down! 
Dog Nozzle no noticed it too. Tax to ago. Police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. Just going First to a party. On the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey there, Deep Pool. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. No! Look out! You okay? Still in one piece. Okay, so Zombie Chocobo raises something that I brought up uh, in the previous <laughs> go-through of this, that that zombie Claire. is just Leon's model. I thought so. The, I mean, the hair is just too similar. The then again, it was I'll the 90s. Okay. okay, let's do this a bit more carefully, just a skosh more carefully. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. <laughs> it's funny watching these back to back that he calls her babe. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. Locked By the time way. I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. That sounds like that voice actor is pitch shifted. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. Ooh. I'm keeping a close eye on things. I never noticed how creepy he got.
I like Palado's suggestion of calling the zombies Hungry Men. That way brains could be called Hungry Man Dinners. Fuck! I thought you were dead. Fuck, I thought you were dead! I don't know if that was worth it, but... Hey, chicken riggies. And that graffiti is really uh, apocalyptic. This too shall pass. they're intelligent enough to tactically bomb it and also aware enough of their grossness that vomiting is an option Kick your head. Yeah. Alabama. I did not expect to have this much trouble. Just 
stars. Okay. In we go. I think there's a first aid first aid spray somewhere north toward the uh, toward the front of the building. Love this music. Dr. Static raises a good point, so we're going to get to meet um, Chief Irons later. Um, in no sense does what Chief Irons did to this station, or around the city in general, make any sense whatsoever. In no sense does it make any sense. Sorry about that nightmare sentence. I forget, I think this door is controlled by the lock, otherwise there's a... Yeah. There's some herbs on the other side of there. Okay, let's go talk to Marvin. left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every Last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures <laughs> in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other star's members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives, but no one believed them. Uh, Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. <laughs> Protect okay. and serve. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. these electronic locks and go for it. Hey Smooth Master, hey Jala. Jala asks if I'm power streaming. I don't I don't know I don't know what pa power power streaming means. Go. 
Oh, Je <laughs> power streaming means streaming for a long time. Uh, I plan to go to it until about 11. And then look for, uh, look for a stopping point after that. Yeah, I was wrong about those herbs. I don't know where I'm... How, how am I remembering all these items that aren't there? Police memorandum informing everyone that movement of equipment has happened. 2236. Let me write that down. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Feeling fine. I'll be here when you get back, Jala. Go drive. Oh, I should probably box that knife too. <laughs> You'll learn how to use this once you fly over the Atlantic Ocean, Claire. Ooh, liquor. <laughs> Liquors are so good. Okay, Bard88 tells me that uh, that body has ammo. Um, I will get back to it later. the concern regarding the issue of terrorism. So we scatter the bodies around, <laughs> the, the weapons around, sorry. Yeah. 
The liquor's tongue can pierce a human torso. Okay, I need to come back when I have the, uh, the lighter. Oh, huh, so the voice actress for Claire, voice actor for Claire, sorry, um, was Jubilee from the 90s X-Men cartoon and also was a localization worker and did work on the Bang Man X series. That's, um, interesting. Thank you for sharing that. This is a good hallway to clear. I feel weird doing commentary on the game because there are people in the chat who know more about this game than me. Much more. So, Stephen Hawking, um... Did you know? Suns are stars. I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. Stars. So I'm in regular mode. Yeah, I'm on normal, so I don't have auto aim. That is very hard to get used to. Not so much for aiming purposes, but more for the purpose of uh, knowing that zombies are dead. <laughs> or shooting enemies that are off camera. Now I get to the puzzle where I push puzzles for five hours. Not because it's difficult, but because pushing things is so slow.
This is one of the few things in the game that's actually a puzzle. You know, where you have to figure something out. And I went ahead and ruined it in the attract mode. So how's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing just fine. I had a productive week. I'm talking to you through a new uh, piece of audio equipment, which is nice. Oh, Chicken Riggy is, get, is getting ready to uh, to listen to Adaptation Decay. Yeah, we just put out an Adaptation Decay about, um... Oh, about the Mortal Kombat movie. That was a lot of fun. Hey, Jake S.A. Welcome. Rebecca's desk. <laughs> Chicken Riggies tried the Mortal Kombat trick with their with their TV remote and it didn't work. I uh in order to find <laughs> in order to pull up Mortal Kombat on my Apple TV, I shouted Mortal Kombat into the remote and <laughs> pulled it up on Amazon video. <laughs> So Chris is watching the police do nothing and also watching the monsters encroach on the town and hearing about the research of a new virus. So he's headed to the Umbrella HQ in Europe. Please forgive me, Claire. Moose Rehab asks if there are any plans to review the new Dark Souls 1 when it comes out. Um, nothing in any official capacity is planned just yet, just because it's going to be so... I mean, it's it's a remaster of the first game. We've played it so many times and talked about it so much. Oh, hey, political. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. Monster. Um, I'll pro you know, I'm going to get it because, God help me, I'm going to have Dark Souls on my Switch. God damn it. Um... I'm not going to search that 50 times to get the uh, picture of Rebecca, but but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to play it and I'll talk about it on the level. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play it right away, but. Chief Irons was receiving bribes from uh, from the old Umbrella Corp. And also has a history of being just a complete piece of human garbage. <laughs> Jake S.A. says, The same game is really good, speaking about Dark Souls 1 and the remaster, but this time you can get mad at Capra Demon from bed. Yeah. I plan to.
Boom. Shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> I knew it happened eventually. I didn't know it happened that soon or in this scenario. <laughs> So here's my question. Zombie Chocobo says the Digital Foundry did a, an analysis of the Switch port of Dark Souls from the Nintendo Direct. Um, as far as I can tell, even the downloaded video, if you're able to get a hold of one, um, would be compressed. That doesn't seem to... That doesn't, doesn't seem like you'd be able to do much analysis on that at the level that, uh, at the level that Digital Foundry does. The, uh, okay, they, they mentioned the compression. I, I should have thought that they would take that into, into consideration. It's just very, <laughs> I don't know. I'll refrain from comment. So that's the heart key. No, it's the spade key. There we go. I should have known better. The maps do not have the detail about which uh, which locked doors are which. So let's go back around this way. I like Digital Foundry. They do uh, they do very good work. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> I feel I feel embarrassed that I'm forgetting so much about this, but and the last time I played this, March of 2013, it was before I moved that year, before my car accident. So yes, it has been five years, um, maybe almost to the day, <laughs> maybe to the week. It's been five years since I played this game. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I didn't do the math. Oh, Chicken Riggy says that I missed a spade door. Womp womp. No, no, don't apologize. I, I just blew past it while I was doing uh, doing mental math about. I mean, really, about the cruel march of time. No, you, you don't worry, man. You're not a dick. 
it's helpful because otherwise I would have walked back to it and said, oh man, I'm a, I'm a real dip dipshit. And then somebody would have said, oh, I saw you go past it. Um, a report of a suspicious individual skulking around in the sewers. They found on him a small amount of C4, an electronic detonator, and some hollow points in a broken infrared scope. I believe they're talking about Hunk. That looks like a crank to me. Zombie Chugaba raises a good point. It would have been less than five years had I decided to, had I not decided to play Resident Evil Zero for um, Duckstream a couple years back. Which was a mistake. <laughs> Chicken Riggies asks, where's Jeremy? Jeremy's hanging out with Gary. Square crank. Just a pale, degenerate imitation. Wait, there's a pass through in here, right? Okay, I'm back. My, uh, my computer blue screened on me which is very strange not like legit old blue screened you know with the with the bios text and stuff no but it just uh whatever the new windows 10 one is why i don't understand why they made that screen blue in windows 10 make it not red because i'm panic people make it a soothing orange what about an orange screen Anyway, no, my, my computer restarted on me. Um, I believed, so this has happened before. I believed that um, the recording from the stream will still be there. If not, I can just download a copy from Twitch. I'll just have to recover the file. But yeah, my computer restarted and then my brother called. Computer restarted, then my brother called. I wanted to talk to him. So it was a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, people in the chat are saying Windows 10 is bad. I don't... I'm going to say something provocative and I don't intend to start a fight. I, I literally don't care about Windows. It's what's on my PC. Um... It's what's on, it's what I do the streaming from, but most of my, I'd say 90, 99% of my computing is on my ah! OS 10 machine. So they just happen to be right next to each other. Hey, Sherry. Help me. Yeah, Windows 10 gets the job done for me. I. It's just a, it's a gaming and streaming machine. Either bleed or get up. Good God. Leon. Leon. I I didn't intentionally say that at the same time Claire, as her. You made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. 
but it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. I don't know, but of being course. the leading female in this story, forget, here's a radio. I'm being forced that to be way maternal. We can keep in touch if something comes up. Hunky Leon, also redhead Leon. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is a comedy game. Forget how to do this puzzle. Um, I think I need to have these two. Can it go right? Yeah. both have to have left yellow. The outer two have to have left blue. no inventory room. Well, I can leave that there until I figure out where I need where I need to put it, because I don't remember where it goes, where it goes. There are supposed to be no enemies when that music plays. channel. Hmm. 
maybe my left and right channel are flipped. Maybe the one I'm hearing is upstairs. Kick the ladder down. Depth perception. Good music. Good music to hear. Do some inventory management here. Gonna save first just for the purposes of the stream. <laughs> so many ink ribbons, dear God. I remember uh, this game being much stingier with those. Let's, uh, let's go back and get that, get that plate just so I don't forget it. I'm not gonna use <laughs> I'm not gonna use a use a double green herb on a single yellow caution. Come on. No, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Chicken Riggy says, stop teasing me with that ladder. I need those sounds. Okay. Okay. I'll do it for you just this once, man. No, but I'm going to do it because I can't remember if, if that, if the chief or if Marvin's door is, uh, is a spade key or not. No, it's not. Because I got rid of that key. All right. I'll give you a clean one. I'll give you a, I'll give you a clean take of them ladder sounds. Welcome back, Jala. Did you have a good time at your St. Patrick's Day thing? Thank <laughs> you. 
you know what? I'm gonna go back down that ladder because I'm gonna go and get the. Uh, want to go and burn that painting so I can get whatever's in there. Leave the west wing behind me. Wrong. No, wait. Correct. I'm boosting the volume of the uh, of the ladder sounds for you, Riggies. Congratulations on your good night, Jolly. So, in some lights, Claire's get-up looks cool because it looks dark red. In some lights, it looks bad because it's pink. Pink is a fine color to wear, but it is uh, it does not invoke biker imagery to me. MASW just used the Roars emoticon, so that is my opportunity to... Oh, jeez. To remind people if you want to subscribe or if you want to, um... Yep, if you want to subscribe or if you have Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, whatever, you can use the Roars of the Cat emoticon. Also, somebody emailed me to ask about this, um, and I shouldn't just assume that people are watching these on Twitch first and then YouTube later. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, you can actually see edited, archived versions of these uh, play sessions on um, youtube.com slash duckfeedtv, in addition to all the other video stuff we do for the network. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can watch this, um, you can watch these streams live, twitch.tv slash duckfeedtv, on Friday and Saturday nights, most times. So this has been your commercial break. I can't I can't remember your name, but whoever reminded me um, or emailed me about that, thank you for reminding me that uh, not everybody knows. No oh, wait, I need to get the volume control. SW just said nice things about the Breath of the Wild. Watch out for fireballs. Thank you. It was fun to do. I like that game quite a bit. <laughs> and Jolly groans because she does not care for that video game. For perfectly fine reasons. Um, I'm going to go 
I just know that if I put the <laughs> if I put these two uh, gems away, I'm gonna need them next. But I'm gonna take that gamble, and I know that I don't need that lighter. Jala says there was too much gushing. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about that game. Uh, Zombie Chocobo asks what changed our mind about doing it for WAF. Uh, John Hurst, our guest, um, backed and wanted to, to do that episode. Wanted to do that game for the episode. Left to our own devices, if we did another 3D um, Zelda, we would have done um, Majora's Mask. We'd been saying that for years. But we were not left to our own devices. We were lucky enough to have John's support. Let's go see Chief Irons. Sim and for the SNES. SNES, I never say SNES. Sim and for the SNES. That would be a That's a game that I wouldn't think to do, but that is a very <laughs> that is a very good and interesting game. Why did I say SNES there? Is it just because I was reading it off of the screen? Hold on guys, I need to do some soul searching. <laughs> Gonna leave that other green herb there for a rainy day. All right, let's go see what's at the end of that hallway. Hey there, nuke powered toaster. Welcome. I don't, uh, I don't recognize your name. If I've seen you before, I uh, apologize for not recognizing your name. But if you're new, welcome. Somebody did a cheer. Whoa! Thank you, Knife Nine. Geez, nuke powered toaster. I'm no one of any consequence. You're here watching the stream. That's good enough for me.
<laughs> Chicken Riggy says they forgot how few zombie models there were in the game. Yeah, they really use the uh, the tank top lady a lot. Tank top lady or sports bra lady? I'm going to save in case this goes bad, but I can't not open that door. Also, I have plenty of ink, so... It's a cool door. It's a good door, Bronk. <laughs> God, I love that shit. Let's soak this chopper. <laughs> Seeing the same guy as the enemy all the time spooks me out. I'm back. That was a two-person chill by Palado and Zombie Chocobo. As interpreted by me, Cole. Okay, by putting out that helicopter fire, I am able to get into the chief's office. Prepare to be wigged the fuck out. diamond key, and I need the two red gems. The two important items that I forgot to carry, or made a calculated choice not to carry. Is there a door I'm missing in the chief's office? Well, let's figure it out later. for an item box. No reason to be annoyed. 
Chains of Tyrannos. It's like a like a tyrant, like a tyrant. That it's the diamond key, but I I need to have it named as the diamond key in my inventory uh, because I am a broken human being. Okay, I'm almost out of pistol ammo. Which means that I need to, uh, I know I've got a big meeting room to clear out, so I'm going to... I'm going to do something a little bit less obvious next time, I think. Um, not, it wasn't obvious that I was going to do this. It just uh, It's an old standby. After Alan Wake month, I wanted to, wanted to juice it, give people something to be excited about. Zicho asks if I have seen the Black Coat's daughter. No. No, I have not. I assume it's a movie? Oh, the Black Coat's daughter is a movie. God damn, son. Okay. 
that was a very stupid use of a grenade round, but I didn't want to waste those four bullets that I put into it. <laughs> oh. Criminy jickets, y'all. Hey, Frost Circus. Okay, I have like no ammunition. So that hallway is going to be a pretty tough proposition for me. I'm not going to use that, uh, well, there's, there's no way forward, is there? Huh. Well, let's see how bad it is. Ride. Ooh, I like this. This is fun. One moment. Okay, I had to sneeze really hard. Oh, bug! Hi, liquor.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I very quickly, not very quickly, I very clumsily lowered the volume on my preamp from my microphone because I don't have a mute button. And uh, yeah, I thought that would be enough. Excuse me. I'm a sniffly boy. I feel like I've been fighting off a cold for about ah, a month. But honestly, it's spring, so it might be allergies. This has been Tales of Cole's Rapidly Decaying Body. Okay, there wasn't anything of value in there. Oh well. <laughs> Shit. They're gonna be down the hallway, aren't they? Hi. Need to remember to go back there when I have the club key. Where else on the map can I go? Well, I have the diamond key, so I should check that door over there. Yeah, there's only really one door I can go to. Okay, let's book it. Uh, hi, Greg. There's no Greg in chat. I just... That, that groan sounded like a Greg to me. Of course I can't. Shit. Well, this is a thoroughfare. <laughs> the G slash Greg virus. Oh, we're all Gregs now. I know Gregs watch or listen to these, so I don't mean to cast aspersions on Greg. I just, I was trying to think of, the, of just the most, you know, just top of my name. <laughs> Let's go check in on Marvin, see how things are going there. Oh, 
Frost Circus actually raises a very good a very good question is the T virus, the Trevor virus. I don't know. We're gonna have to investigate, I think. Whoa, shit! Good God, that's a lot of. <laughs> Push them all down! Push them all down! Here we go. Okay. Shit on me. Check my health, check my health. Danger. Any zombies in that room? Okay, wait, my battery is low. Shit, shit, shit. Sweet Jesus. There's like seven enemies in a very cramped area. All right, let's go deal with Marvin. VM virus. Okay, I think this is the uh, the detonator. Why did I pick up that goddamn film? can make the circuit, develop the film, just see what's on it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Chicken Riggy's asked if there's an objectively easier scenario. Um, I don't know about objectively. I think scenario E is always a little bit easier, or scenario A is a little bit easier than scenario B.
So yeah, that's a tyrant arm. Code G human body experiment. way to get where I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think it's up. Yeah, I feel ridiculous that I have nothing to say right now because I'm on my way to blow up a helicopter, but that detonator and that plastic explosive might as well be a fucking door key. <laughs> no, you know what? I need to lean into it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Blowing up a helicopter is awesome. I'm about to do it. The fact that it opens up the way forward in the game, that's secondary. You know why? Because blowing up a helicopter is awesome. And it is part of a long, ongoing tradition of Resident Evil games where helicopters get blowed up. So you know what? We are going to make it happen. Okay, now we're going to find Chief Irons. Mr. Bond. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. 
Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. Mm. You don't but talk about people's skin, bro. She will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. <laughs> what but does one no have to do with the other, Chief? Please. I'd really like to be alone now. <laughs> Frost Circus says, it used to be his hobby, but now it is his solemn duty. <laughs> Taxidermy is so creepy. No shade on people who, you know, like it. I'm sure there are good reasons for it, but to me, it's a. Uh, it is macabre sculpture. <laughs> Although it's fun to watch fucked up, ta <laughs> to watch, to look at messed up taxidermy. Bad taxidermy is very funny to look at. Oh, that was Sherry running around. Yeah, so Chief Irons is definitely in the, in the pocket of Big Trevor. Big Trevor would be a good rap name. Secretary's Diary B. Am I missing something? No. No, I'm not. I'd really like to be alone now. I'm sure you would. Jeepers Creepers. Okay, so there was something I was missing back here. Oh, I need to turn on the switch. Wait, let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're <laughs> safe now. Leon, come in. 
I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But come with me, a stranger. There. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Chief Iron just got a face full of G. Chief? Hmm. Okay. Take his flask, too. Oh, it's not a flask, it's a diary. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with the zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town, if that turns out to be true. I was successful in spreading confusion amongst the police, as planned. I've made sure that, not, <laughs> that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There's, there are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy, yes. Frozen forever in the pose that I chose to give her. Chief, you're a messed up motherfucker. Okay. So I need to fulfill this Mayan tableau. Let's, uh go out. There should be one door that I haven't opened yet with this heart key. Actually, wait. No. Need to fulfill. No. Shut up, Alexa.
do I use this key? All right, I think it's down in that uh main hall there. So. Okay, I think if I'm recalling correctly, I'm going down to the basement. Down in the basement. Okay. Oh, Mamma oh, Mamma's is doing fine. I'm going up against doggos, though, and I'm not too happy about going up against doggos. I'll take one of you. Zombie Chocobo says they're pretty bad doggos. Like, bad doggos are a thing? Zombie Chocobo says they only exist in fiction. Shit. March imperiously around the corner. Shit. Fuck. Both sides. Both sides. God damn it. Autopsy room. Club key. Shit. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Morgue. Put me into the morgue. the wrong door. God damn it. No fear if they can jump down from above.
I forget who raised the point before, but Claire is definitely definitely wearing two pairs of shorts. One is a torn pair of Daisy Dukes that matches her top. Uh, and the other appears to be something more, let's say, practical. Matches the undergarment above her, uh, not under, undergarment, matches her shirt under her vest. Okay. So, what I'm going to try to do, <laughs> which I figured out in the ten minutes that I've had to think about this. Shoot it, knock it down, run past. Okay, there's one over here, there's one back there. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> Cole is one syllable away from ruining everything. Oh my god, if you had any idea how accurate that was to how I felt most minutes of the day. Take a look at this map just to see if I can internalize this at all. Cool, so down there's the garage. I am in this room right here. Yeah. I don't want to go the other way. Don't worry, Zicho. I approved it. I approved it. It's fine. She was just illustrating what I was talking about. It's a switch. Plus 36. <laughs> Frost Circus says, uh, if anything, most situations can be ruined by shouting a single one-syllable word. Yeah, yeah. People suck. And that word is crime. Shouting a crime is the same as doing a crime. Crime time. So, I've got healing items now, which is good. Um, I want to go out. I want to go left and hit the first door on the right. It's locked. Okay, club key. Nope, 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 nope. And I'm down. Nope. Shit, 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 shit. No, that's... That's the door I want to go in and... Uh, nope, can't continue, my, continue the momentum. Let's go here. Alright, we're in the garage. in the garage and also the weird holding cells that they have. Let's go find the journalist. I forgot about the journalist. Oh, so many green herbs. Dank. Damn. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Ah! Aru, I get it. Well, I saved after the cutscenes. So. <laughs> Stinkor says, too many dogs on the dance floor. Too many dogs. Sounds like a children's book. I would like to at least get out of the, uh, the police station tonight. We're all here to answer one very simple question. We gathered you here in this parlor room. We know that something terrible has been done. And Justice, Justice, she may be blind, but she has needs. She has needs, okay? The need for answers. So, I'm going to put it to you once, and only once because I hope you appreciate the gravity of the situation when I ask, which one among us let the dogs out? Who? 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 I rest my case. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, Zicho says they feel like yeah, I need a crowbar or something, but no, no, that's, I think that's either another, yeah, that's another another scenario that you're thinking of, that I, uh, that I got lulled into thinking too, so I'm gonna blame it on you, even though you are, like, super nice and watch most of these streams and contribute, <laughs> contribute a lot of knowledge and commentary and company. Jala says, so I don't know how popular it was or if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but I came across a video long ago where someone is pranking businesses on the phone using clips of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Um, I definitely remember playing around with that soundboard back in the Flash days. That was a real, uh, that was a real mainstay of, uh, of Newgrounds, B-I-T-D, which of course stands for back in the day. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Uh -oh. Sherry! Okay. Sherry has a first aid kit. 
and also a picture of her with William and Annette. Run away from the dog! Run away from the dog! Juke! Juke that doggo! Shit! No, no, no! Now, cesspool. Huh, I never thought of something. Sherry, <laughs> Frost Circus says, Sherry's profile pic is creepy. Yeah, her her eyes are very dark in that, making them look dead. Time to spend mm, roughly seven to ten hours pushing crates. Jala asks, how old is Sherry supposed to be here? I think she's supposed to be somewhere around 10, maybe 10 or 12. This is in 1998. RE6 is supposed to be in 2013, so that's 15 years later. It makes sense for her to be around like 22, 23 on that. Yes, Sherry is older than Cheryl. Cheryl's seven. Roughly this tall. <laughs> Roughly this tall. Okay. Let's uh let's get past these dogs and get back to Claire. Shit. Come on around. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Are you okay? Did you find your dad? 
Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Here's another. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. No, I trust these dogs Claire, more. I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Jala says she's forgotten when this game takes place. Uh, it's, uh, it's 1998. Both RE1 and RE2 take place in 98. Uh, I'm gonna save in case I get ganked by them dogs. Who? 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 Those dogs. <laughs> hey, Chicken Rickies. <laughs> Maybe don't talk about me be me making a BM. I only had to, you know, just to, you know. I, I didn't have to do that, okay? I really wish I didn't say why I had to leave. Because <laughs> that's way too much personal information. <sighs> Fucking dogs. Okay. Come on, let me around. Let me around. Liquors. God damn, son. Let me around. Let me around. Let me around. Okay. <laughs> As if the dogs weren't bad enough. No, 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 no. God. Huh. <sighs> Jala says that Sherry and Jake are the only functional couple in RE. Gotta say, Chris and uh, Pierce. Check and mate, Jala. Check and mate. that shit again. Fuck off, bro. I didn't realize that was a sensitive topic.
when I talk about Chris and Pierce being involved, it is not out of any kind of derogatory sense. It is entirely really just a, just a, just an aberration of how close they are. Watchman's Diary. The clock tower is a sensitive area. Oh, Thomas and the Watchman. Let me look, let me look at the map. I might have to go back down to the basement. No, around that corner. I need to go around that corner. Okay. Well, I am very happy that I killed everybody except for that one body that seems to never go away that I never killed that is certainly never going to grab me by the ankle when I walk by it later on. Back you go. Okay. Yeah, RE6 does have Leon's best friend die right in front of him. Like, that's a... That's a thing. Laundry for this. I am not gonna try and take one of those things out with a with a pistol. Where is a nearby 
Oh, they don't mark the save rooms. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, la I'm laughing at something in the chat that is too hard to summarize over the commentary here, but they're talking about how metaphor is a very bad way to examine any kind of Resident Evil narrative. Um, where's my grenade launcher? There we go. Yeah, I'm comfortable letting metaphor relax around R <laughs> around RE. You know. Metaphor is uh got plenty of work to do around Silent Hill. Not a valid judgment in either direction. Springfield. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. Yeah, I need the lighter. I should have remembered to bring it, but I didn't. Man, this chat is funny. Frost Circus. She lives <laughs> she lives kind of an alternative lifestyle. Spends most of her time naked in a mine. Again, referring to Resident Evil 6 and Helena's sister. <laughs> God, that mine underneath that college makes absolutely no goddamn sense. Holds up to no scrutiny. I'm not trying to be like, you know, Abed here or whatever, but it is so ridiculous. Makes no logical sense. Uh, I'm not gonna develop that film. 
And I don't think I need the stones. Yes, RE5 did ha did have that under underground sun temple ziggurat. Let's just all agree that this is the final Resident Evil game that makes sense. Here in the, here in the police station that is all guarded with uh, keys that are named after the suites, uh, the suits rather, of uh, of you know playing cards. First, I have to light this pilot light. And then light all three of these and know that when I play Leon B, someone gonna punch through there. Number 11 has been etched. So that'll be the jack. Queen. worth cog. Back in the library? Go back there.
flickers. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, here we go. They come flooding in. Can I come warm you up, Shug? Fuck, 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 fuck. Let me around, let me around, let me around, let me around. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I knew I was carrying this around. Reep, 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 reep. So the chief was real sensitive about this area. Cool. So I can go out. Go out through the chief's office now. Good. Now I just have to get there. miss anything out there? No. No, I didn't. Alright. I have to make a mad dash across the station. There are a couple of liquors on the upper floor here. I have the grenade launcher equipped, but I need to take one down. But only one, because I only have three rounds. Shit. Uh, uh, around! Around you! Around you I go! There we go.
Is there some place that I didn't use the club key? Downstairs, maybe. But I'm going to leave that for Leon. I can't remember if that's how it works, but I'm feeling very lazy and I want, and I want to get out of this police station. Zombie Chocobo has convinced me to at least venture back into the basement because that room has a choice of two items, one of which you can leave for Leon, one of which you can take for Claire. Um, I know what I want to leave for Leon. If anything bad happens, I will just reload and continue through the cheese office. I'm watching you, body. Yeah, no, fuck me. <laughs> it's gonna be quicker to die than to run back and get that key, so. Down I go.
It's very strange that they saw fit to release a DualShock version of this game. Like, I understand wanting to support the full range of hardware on the PlayStation, but it's just... Controlling this with the analog controls makes negative sense. Circus asks if they do interesting vibration things at least. Uh, they don't do any health indications via the vib vibration. Huh. They do vibrate though. <laughs> All right, not going down there. I'm just going to go past. Claire! Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Hi, Sherry. Frost Circus, you're being very funny tonight. Can we go back to when we were talking about Leon's changeable personality? Just so that I can say Leon Flux? <laughs> Mail to the chief. Ba da 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 da. Um, we have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. So they're concerned about the ra the remaining stars members. They're on to this. William Burkett. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. $10,000. Huh. Yeah, Brian Irons is a real cheap date. <laughs> the development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Incorporated. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project, continue to monitor their activities, and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. We have a problem. I was, <laughs> I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as, a rep as it represents my entire life's work. Yeah, Birkin was going over Umbrella's head. Yeah, all right. Claire! 
I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? I'm gonna shoot your dad a bunch. G. Birkin's arm. made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. <laughs> he just said everyone's gonna die. Shut up. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio-weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Ugh. I just can't take the pain. I can't take the pain. I love how it bursts out of him laterally from the shoulder. So good. Oh, hey, Irons. I knew you were a freaky, but uh, I didn't realize that you were keeps human skulls freaky. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't being coy there. I forgot about Brian Irons' skull room and dissection lab. <laughs> His body tore along a pre-existing scene. <sighs> Here we go. G. Imago, our first boss.
No. It threw me off, G. Kill them! Kill them when you rip them when you rip them off you. Frost Circus asks if I have played the Umbrella uh, the Umbrella Chronicles games. I've I played Umbrella Chronicles and never played the Dark Side Chronicles. I can't remember which one of those had the events of RE2 in it. Have to go back for Sherry. Okay. Jella says she wants to watch those. I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how I would do them. Because to stream, I have to sit in front of my computer. And my Wii slash Wii U is in front of my TV. No, <laughs> they were not Wii only. Um, I think that they were released on the on the PS3 for the PS Move. Um, however, Jala suggests rearranging everything. I just recently did that. Claire, you came back. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing, but I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! <laughs> wait, wait! No, I knew you were joking, Jala. So, first, hello, Hero Clam. Second, Hero Clam asks a question. Cole, what is your favorite Resident Evil game? It is a toss up between this and four for them, personally. Um, I'm going to have to say the remake. The remake of one is uh, all time goat for me. Two is very close, it is near and dear to my heart. Three is incredibly good. Um, but uh, remake is uh, is definitely highest among them for me.
Let's get out of here. Hey, Bill. The vomit isn't terribly damaging. <laughs> I say that as though my life's goal isn't to avoid vomiting. <laughs> yeah, I'm going a little bit longer than I intended to, but I'm just waiting for a safe spot. Zombie Chocoba says, this is the fun part of the game where Sherry falls down more and more things. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop at the next uh, safe spot that I find.
So yeah, Umbrella was insinuating itself into the very, you know, waste disposal and, you know, just a sewer infrastructure of the entire city. I'm going to take this opportunity to save and then go to bed. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out. It's been a good Friday night. Um, if you uh, are interested, you can come back tomorrow, Saturday. Going to start sometime between 8 and 9 Eastern. That's PM. With more of this, going to finish out the Claire story. If you're watching on Twitch... Um, you and you didn't catch all of this, you can go to youtube.com slash duckfeedtv to catch the archives, see all of those. They'll be up sometime in the next week. Um, and if you have Amazon Prime or are interested in, interested in subscribing, you can, you can do that. Otherwise, if you're watching on YouTube, watch on Twitch, twitch.tv slash duckfeedtv. This sounds confusing, but I hope it isn't. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. And if I don't see you, a good weekend. Bye.